Hi and welcome to this short video on the SnapSafe XL Gun Vault. You see the inside of it here comes with the cable. We'll show how it works a little bit better inside. One of the things I wanted to demonstrate is just why uh, I picked this gun vault to experiment with. Now everybody who's got a concealed carry permit realizes that there are going to be places that you cannot take your weapon into and what do you do in your vehicle to keep it securely. Uh, you don't want to just throw it in the glove box. I don't think that's a very good idea. We uh, want to be responsible gun owners. So when you go into, say, a post office or maybe you have to go into an eating establishment that doesn't allow the firearm, you want to be able to securely put it in your vehicle. If you have a box like this with a cable, you can at least uh, have it reasonably secure against the smash and grab. Sure, they can cut the cable. They can do a lot of different things. But in a short amount of time without making a lot of noise, it limits what they can do. Now the reason I picked this one is probably because of its size. Some of the other ones were like 3 inches or maybe 2.2 inches in height. This is 2 inches and it's 10 by 7. It is the XL. Now the thing about it is you can fit it under the seat on most vehicles. You take the key out and it will slide under the seat. Now with this cable you can secure the box like this on one of the posts of the seat and then put it through this notch here and close it and it's secure. Now this box is 18 gauge steel and a lot of them are only 20 gauge so it's a little bit stronger. Now I kind of thought if you would wrap it around the back here it would actually keep the uh, keep the cable a little bit more out of the way of the firearm. But I'll have to experiment with that. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend the driver's side because you don't want, uh, on a quick stop, the box to slide out and get in the way of your feet. So I'd probably recommend the passenger side. Now, this is a lot more important in uh, vehicles today because in this old 98 pickup, I've got a nice flat spot over here on the, on the hump, as we used to call it. And there's a nice lock box that, as far as I know, is not even made anymore. I uh, bought it back in the day, mail order, and I never could even find the company online and they don't answer the phone number that I originally ordered it from. And it was a really nice uh, utility uh, here, in, here in this pickup, but most of the new pickups uh, don't have, unless you get the real cheap ones, don't have any empty space on the floor to mount something like that. So that leaves you with an option like this. Now with this minivan, obviously I can't uh, really get the camera in there too well, but trust me when I say that there's not a lot of room, and when you slide this under, it fits uh, just about perfectly. It could be just a little bit taller, but um, it's a pretty good fit. And again, if you secure it to some of the hardware underneath, and on the passenger side here, it's not going to slide out uh, and get in the way of your feet trying to drive the vehicle on a fast stop. Okay, here you can see the inside of the SnapSafe XL, the gun vault, and it says it'll accept a full-size 1911, and I apparently probably will. I don't have a full-size here to, uh, to demonstrate. This is a Glock 21 full-size. And uh, yeah, you could put an extra mag or something there. Uh, this is what I was uh, indicating before, try to give you a little better look at it, where I was just wrapping the cable around the back side here to keep this out of the way of your firearm. Otherwise, you know, if you just put it in here like this, that's okay, but you know, it's, it's going to keep from sliding around, and I just kind of like to keep things out of the way. Uh, also, this is a, a steel. This is all steel here with the uh, where the latch is at and on the other side, of course, that is you know, metal. The only probably improvement I would make to the box as it is, I'm probably going to take some foam and you can see that the two-sided sticky tape isn't holding the foam here. Uh, either take some uh, better two-sided sticky tape or maybe some silicone caulk and uh, kind of make sure those are secured in. But also, thinking of having it around the outside. I mean here you have Springfield Army XDS and you know you start to see it, 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 could, it could slide around in there. It's not going to really be held snug by this foam or anything. So again I, I don't rather than have this uh, interfere I'm going to wrap it around I think. See how that works out. Tuck it back in there. I'm also I think going to try to glue in some some foam around here because I, I like to as much as possible not have my firearms get uh, get scratched up any more than what they have to. I mean, one that you carry obviously is going to 
The finish isn't going to be perfect. And I've tried some other uh, firearms. This is the, actually the XL box. They say it's larger. It's 10 by 7 by 2. I could go with the smaller one, obviously, for the XDS. If you've got a, a smaller uh, 9mm 380, you know, certainly. For the full size the Glock or something, you're going to want this box. But it says it will accommodate full size revolvers. I'll have some, some more pictures on my website. I've got a, a link in the description of the video. And uh, try to have maybe on the screen too. Go to my website. Some other pictures. The, the Smith and Wesson Governor just barely fits, and I'm really not comfortable with the way it fits because, again, I don't like to scratch up my firearms. And a uh, Smith and Wesson Model 627 with a five-inch barrel does not fit. So if you're looking for a rather large size firearm, you, you really need to look for probably a, a bigger box. And I'm going to have some reviews of some other ones uh, as well that are, have different uh, dimensions and, and features. Things I'd like to have probably is a combination ball, at least I'd like to try it out. But one of the ones that I saw online um, actually had some kind of poor reviews about there being plastic inside and, and uh, the, the combination lock jamming or being easily pried. So I didn't like that. But this box is uh, 18 gauge, some of them are 20. Uh, here's the, the hinge. I don't think you can slip the pin out real easily. So all in all, it seems to be pretty uh, pretty good buy. It was less than $25 on Amazon, and I, I think I got free shipping too. But I'll have some links for this. You can go straight to Amazon and check it out, look at the other reviews. It does have quite a few reviews. Most of them are, are really pretty good. And I, I try not to really review or even buy anything that doesn't have at least four star or above. But this isn't a bad little buy for, for $24. You can slide it under the seat, and with the cable, you can attach it. And again, to attach it, I would just you know put it around you know, the leg of the car seat and then put it in here wherever you like and this is going to be secured as, as much as you can keep your firearm at least at least you're acting in a responsible manner if something does happen at least you know you do what you could so that's it for this review again some links in the description of the video check it out please come to my website and we will see you next time thanks for watching